Hello and welcome to Ape Animation Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to create something like this where if you move an object it turns on and manipulates the visibility of another object. So, so let's just create a new scene and I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible. We're going to create a sphere scale the sphere up a little bit. Um, I'm going to duplicate the sphere, make the second sphere a little bit bigger. Let's call this light on, the bigger sphere light on and then put it in another layer, in its own layer. Do that and let's call this light off. And let's put it in its own layer. Light off. I like to keep things clean, so I like to go and freeze my um, attributes just to keep everything nice and clean. Freeze all. I'm gonna create a surface shader for the biggest sphere. Right click on the bigger sphere, assign new material, and I'm going to select the surface shader. And with surface shader, I'm going to rename it to light and then adjust the out color to white and the out glow color to white. And that's our light. I'm going to select the bigger sphere, hold shift, press T. Select the one down the bottom and press P. And now, um, when I move um, light off around, um, light on moves with it. With light on selector, I'm going to lock and hide everything except for visibility. Now it's time to create our switch. I don't know if I should explain in detail, um, you know how I'm doing stuff. You know, you can see on the screen like what I'm doing. So I'm just duplicating this. The main thing is, you know, make sure the pivot point is in the center of the objects and also the transformations and all that are neat and tidy uh, for this to work. So this is going to be a pretty big switch. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll see. I'm going to select everything and then go to Modify, Freeze Transformations. And select the bigger rectangle, the smaller one, second. Uh, mesh, Belene's Difference. There we go. That's our kind of light switch. Um, but you can see if I move it along the translation X, uh, it moves through the object, which we don't want. So I'm going to lock everything except translate X, lock and hide. And with um, the object selected, we're going to go to our attribute editor. Just quickly rename it to light switch. And we're going to create a limit to the translation X. So under limit information, we're going to drag it to the other side. The limit is negative 1.03. So we can click this arrow here, set the limit there, and make the maximum limit zero. And now when we move it along the X axis, it remains um, within that zone. For this bottom one, we don't really need to worry about um, any limits, but we're going to put this into um, their own layers as well. So the bottom one, um, base, the top, just call it the light switch. 
control. And I'm going to select light switch and then the base second and press P to parent it together. And we're going to go to edit, delete all by type, non deformer history so that our outliner is um, neat and um, tidy like so. We don't want this to be called polysurface, we want it to be called um, base or base one. So light on needs to be linked with light switch and um, more specifically the visibility of light on so we don't need these other attributes. So I'm just going to lock and hide those and then select the visibility, go to edit expressions and um, the expressions need to be really precise with how you type it. Uh, one little mistake like a missing comma or something like that the expression will not work so after when I copied this and pasted it you um, type in equals and I'm going to link it to light switch so you type in light switch or whatever the mesh is called after when you type in the name you press full stop and then you type in the attribute that you want it to be linked to so I want um, light on's visibility to be linked to light switches translate x so I type in translate x create and now um, when I move light switch along translate x it adjusts the visibility of um, light on so that's pretty much how you can create a control in um, Maya and this can be useful for like rigging and um, you know just other things so anyway thank you for watching the tutorial and I'll be making more videos soon